the universe, unknown galaxies, millions of stars, little stories and mysteries. It sometimes get difficult to fit them in one image because there are hundreds and thousands of unknown and unexplored objects. To study all these things, well, you would need higher resolution telescope. With the advancement in technology, humans are getting smarter each day. And we are making such instruments that can help us to study these far away planets. But what if you find a single image that can help you to see all these planets in a single shot? Stay tuned to see how the enormous universe can be seen in a single picture. If you like our videos, then please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Gateway to Knowledge and look forward for the videos that would be waiting for you in the future. I have been looking for a long time to see how the vastness of the universe can be captured in a single image. Well, thanks to Pablo Carlos Budassi, who is a musician, and have managed to do this by combining logarithmic maps of the universe from Princeton and images from NASA. He created this image, in which we can see the observable universe just in one disk. This image is a logarithmic illustration of the entire universe, starting with solar system and ending with the cosmic background radiation of the Big Bang. We can see our sun and the solar system in the center of the system. And the outer ring shows the Milky Way galaxy. There is ring of other nearby galaxies like Andromeda, while the rest of the image shows cosmic web, cosmic microwave background radiation left over from the Big Bang, and finally a ring of plasma that is generated by the Big Bang. Rather than showing all elements of the universe on a linear scale, Budassi made every chew of the circle, representing an area of view with numerous orders of magnitude larger than the previous one. That's why the whole observable universe is capable of fitting inside a circle. But how this idea of fitting a complex system of objects in a single footage came in his mind. He got this idea when he was making a hexaflexagon for his son's birthday. But what are these hexaflexagons? In geometry, flexagons are flat models, usually constructed by folding strips of paper that can be flexed or folded in certain ways to reveal faces besides the two that were originally on the back and front. All of a sudden, he started to draw lines and these lines were central of the solar system and the cosmos. Then a few days later, he assembled the images by using Photoshop and textures to modify them. Then he published his first image on Wikipedia on June 21, 2013. But it was not just this. Then again he tried to explain the image in a vertical way, to show the edges of the observable universe. As it is difficult to see it in a vertical form, I have made them easy by cutting the image into different parts. Now have a look at these images. Cosmologists now think the edge of the observable universe is 45.34 billion years in any direction, or, if you prefer a sphere, it would roughly be 90.72 billion light years wide. However, the real size of the cosmos is beyond our thinking, or you can say that it is infinite to observe. <laughs> 